Hey guys and welcome back to Sewing with Anastasia. In this episode I am going to teach you how to read a pattern. Okay so for this episode and our first sewing pattern I've decided to choose a simplicity it's so easy pattern and I've chosen 2884. Now um, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your size is included on the sizes that you're buying. And this one has two types of dresses, A and B. I'm going to be making B with a slight mo uh, modification, which I will show you how to do once we start making it. Flip your pattern over. On the back is a whole bunch of information that you're gonna need. Starting at the top, it is going to tell you uh, what type of fabrics it recommends for this pattern. I recommend a cotton or a cotton blend if this is your first time sewing anything. It'll be easiest for you. I plan on doing mine in a cotton actually because I'm going to make this for my Star Wars celebration trip so I'm going to make it out of Star Wars fabric. Um, you're also going to need thread in a corresponding color. Make sure it's something that you won't mind showing. And a 14 inch zipper. You're going to want a zipper that does not come apart at the end. So a fashion zipper. And a hook and eye. I imagine that goes at the top of the zipper to um, you hook that and then you zip it up. For B, it says that you're going to need two but half inch buttons. That is because for its B, your halter buttons at the neck instead of tying like A does. I'm actually going to do the tie like A and not the button. So that's my modification. Next are the sizes. You are going to measure your body and write down all those measurements. And then you're going to use your largest measurement and you're going to cut the pattern for that. My largest measurement is my bust at 36, which means I'm going to cut a size 14. I do not wear a size 14. I'm going to have to take it in at the waist, but it's a lot easier to take in a outfit that is too big than it is to expand an outfit that is too small. Next, it's going to tell you how much fabric to get. Under B dress, which is the one we're doing, it has a 45 and a 60. These are the widths of the fabric that is on the bolt. The bolt is the cardboard piece that the fabric's all wrapped around. If it does not say on the label what the um, width is, 45 or 60, you need to ask because that will dictate how much you need. Um, if they don't know, your best bet is to just go with the 45. If it's 60, you're gonna have too much fabric, but you'd rather have too much than, en than not enough. So. If it's a 45, you're going to get three and an eighth yard. If it's 60, you're going to get two and an eighth yard. You're also going to get two yards of uh, lining that is 45 inches wide. Um, lining's typically 45. Um, this one also calls for boning. Now, I looked at the pattern ahead of time. It seems like the boning is in this waist area, and I decided that I'm going to skip that because when I sit down, that boning is going to be stabbing me in the underside of um, my chest area, and that just doesn't sound very comfortable, so I'm going to skip it. If you decide you want to get it, just get 3 4 yards of 3 8 inch wide featherweight boning. Inside your pattern is going to be two sheets of paper like this. This, for, this one here is the first one. It's going to have your pattern number and it's going to have the pictures from the front. Now this first section across the top here is going to give you information about the pattern. <laughs> Nicely titled the pattern. The first thing it's going to tell you is the seam allowance. Most patterns are a 5 8 inch seam allowance unless otherwise stated. Therefore um, you're going to use 5 8 inch for all of your seams unless it states otherwise during the pattern. Um, you always want to check this. I've never had one that wasn't 5 8 inch, but you should always check this. Um, it'll also tell you how to lengthen and shorten, which I don't always use. I just kind of do it myself, but um, if you want to know, it's right here. And it also gives you some instructions for what you want to do, um, how to pin the pattern, uh, what to do when you cut, and all of that stuff. Next, down here is the pattern pieces themselves. Since this pattern has two dresses, A and B, any pattern piece that does not have an A or a B after it is for both of them. So you're gonna wanna cut all that out. Also, if you are doing the next strap like I am, then you're gonna wanna cut out um, number five and you don't need to cut out eight or nine. Once you have all those cut out, it also gives you a guide on how to lay it out based on the um, width of your pattern, or width of your fabric. 
I don't believe that there are any pieces in the main dress that are on a fold, but your lining will have a piece that is on the fold. And so you have B dress and how to lay it out, and then you have A, B lining and how to lay those pieces out. Okay, so once you buy the fabric for this um, pattern, you're going to want to wash that. Um, it helps to shrink it if it's not already pre-shrunk, and even if it's pre-shrunk, lots of people are touching that. It would be a good idea to wash it. Um, you're also going to want to cut out all your pattern pieces, and you are going to iron those. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to go about pinning the pattern pieces to your fabric and um, we'll start assembling, possibly even finish. I'm not sure, I've never done this pattern, so I'm not sure how fast it'll go, but if we have time, we'll go ahead and finish that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any requests for a future video, put that down below. And I will see you next time.